birthday. My dear sister, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Pastor Cheryl. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Cheryl Brady. Happy birthday. Happiest birthdays to you, Pastor Cheryl Brady. We just wanted to stop in the middle of the day and just tell you how happy we are for you today. We celebrate you today and every day, but happiest birthday to you ever. We're so grateful for you, grateful for all the sacrifices that you've made along the years from when we were itty bitty until now. We love you and we celebrate you today and every day. Brian? Uh, hey, I just wanted to say, um, you know, thank you for always being there for everybody and uh, thank you for always being on everybody's side no matter what. Happy birthday, Gigi. Thank you so much for being an honest, kind person. Not many people are as honest as you, and I love that about you. It's an amazing quality. And I also want to say your fashion is always on point every Sunday, every day of the week, and I love that about you. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. Hey, everybody. It's Sydney. And Gigi, we just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you for being the glue that keeps us together and for pushing me to be the best that I can be every day. Uh, hey, Gigi, happy birthday. Um, I just want to tell you that you've just been kind, loving, and very open-hearted to people. You've been opening your heart to everybody, and that's why I love you. Happy birthday. Thank, thank you for leaving your pantry door open so me and they can keep it clean. <laughs> Hi, Gigi. I just want to wish you a happy birthday, and... I would like to pray to God and and bring us together when we see us, hug us, and I just want to wish you a happy birthday. Hey, Pastor, thank you for your heart, your love, and being so delightful. May the rest of your days be as bright as the lives that you've touched around the world. Happy birthday. Mom, we would not all be here if it were not for you. So we want to wish you a very, very, very special Happy Birthday! We love you so much. Happy Birthday, Mom! Happy Birthday! Happy Birthday! <laughs> From the Baker family, we just wanted to say that today we celebrate you. We are so grateful from the bottom of all of these hearts for just your presence in our life. You are a world changer and God has used you all over the world. But we are so blessed to be able to say that every day he uses you in our lives. You are truly the gift that keeps <laughs> on giving. <laughs> we love you, Gigi. We love you, Happy Mom. birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Gigi. Happy birthday. I want to take just a moment and talk about an amazing person that God blessed to come into my life. Little did I know that she would become a lifelong part of the fiber of my ministry, of my being, of my shepherding, and honestly, as my friend, Pastor Cheryl Brady. I met her singing and worshiping and lifting up the Lord, recognized that there was more in her than what the world had seen had no idea that there was this much more. But on your 63rd birthday, you have weathered the storms. The wind has blown, the lightning has flashed, but your feet have remained firmly planted. You have inspired us all. I hope you take a moment of reflection and see how far you've come the grounds you've traveled, the countries you've visited, the lives you've changed, the people you've touched, the young women you've inspired, the young men you've empowered. People wait till you're gone to tell you you are a great person when you can least hear it. But while the blood runs warm in our veins, our lives have been made better because you were in it. And I pray that on your 63rd birthday, that nobody claps for you louder than you clap for yourself. Because sometimes everybody else can clap, but if you don't clap, 
that feeling of satiety and accomplishment escapes you. Allow yourself a moment to celebrate your survival, your successes, the many things that you have learned along the way are the pearls you wear around your neck. And remember that I'm always just a phone call away, night or day, good or bad, great or small. I'm available. We're available. The Potter's House of Dallas is available to you. And thank you for always being available to us. You've proven your love over and over again. And we just want to say happy birthday to you. And may you have many, many, many more. We love you. Thank you. Well, I guess you know who this is. This is your one and only husband, your beloved, your man. Uh, I'm just all that. Uh, where do I start talking and uh, celebrating uh, this birthday coming up? You wear all the hats. I thought about this, but I couldn't collect enough hats to set on the desk to tell uh, you how much I love and appreciate you for the uh, diversity of hats that you wear. Uh, you're a pastor, you're a wife, you're a mother. Uh, your grandmother and uh, all of the hats that you wear, a CEO, all of the things that you do and the things that you have done, um, how you helped in the last three or four years, actually all my life you've been there. We've walked this journey together, but for the last several years through uh, you know the challenges, health challenges, you have been there every moment you have completely devoted uh, your time every day to me uh, to make sure I'm taken care of and make sure I'm living. And anytime we get in a little uh, fuss or fight, you just tell me, look, I don't have to do your treatments. If I want to get rid of you, I just don't do your treatments. And uh, so I get back into alignment and I submit like a good husband does. He submits to authority. I love you and I appreciate you and it would take the rest of the service and certainly would fill up the video time for me to tell you how much I love and how much I appreciate you and what you mean to us, not what you just mean to the world and to our family and especially to our church, but personally what you mean to me and how you blessed me, secured me, made me feel comfortable through emotional days of uh, the challenges I've had. Uh, especially with dialysis and things I'm going through. Uh, it does bring a change and it does challenge all, uh, it changes everything. And uh, you to be able to adjust that I'm not having to go to a clinic uh, every other day, but I'm to, uh, able to be at home uh, with you and my surroundings and for you to be able to do what you do. Uh, we add another hat and that's Cheryl the nurse. Uh, Miss Brady, the nurse, and uh, I just love you and I appreciate you with all my heart. And um, it's hard for me to really pour it out without just breaking down and crying. Because uh, when I think of the goodness of Cheryl Brady and all it does for me, my soul cries hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for sending her to me. All right, I love you, baby, and I know this is going to be a great, great uh, birthday celebration for you in honor of uh, all that you bring to the table and all that you are.